Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is October 31st, 2020, and uh, what I want to talk to you about today is some of my favorite flowers for doing dried flower arrangements. So this is an arrangement, this is all done with dried flowers, and uh, this is one that I did up. Now, um, this one here was uh, my mom's birthday present. And some of my favorite flowers for dried flowers are um, status is always a good choice and uh, that's the yellow flowers here now this comes in many different colors and I love straw flowers straw flowers are one of my top favorite flowers to work with and straw flowers come in a wide range of colors there's a lot of different mixes out there and uh, I did do some videos on my channel for how to grow the status and the straw flowers from seed now, um, another flower that I like to work with, with uh, dried flower arrangements, is um, the cone flowers. When the petals fall off, you're left with the seed pods. Well, you're left with the heads with the seeds on. So, um, they are a little prickly, so uh, you do want to watch out for them being prickly. But they add a nice touch to the dried flower arrangements. It kind of gives like a, a nice little balance, different element. You kind of get like some browns in there with your brighter colors. And uh, I do like to work with pompous grass. And uh, I also like to work with yarrow. Yarrow is great for dried flower arrangements and it holds its color very nicely. Now um, I did grow the Parker's yellow yarrow this year. And uh, that is an heirloom. Now, um, normally it blooms the first year from seed. Most of your perennials bloom in their second year, but some will bloom in their first year if you start them early enough. Unfortunately, that one I didn't get to start early enough, so I have to wait till next year to uh, show you what that one looks like. And um, I also like to work with celosia. Celosia is another one of my top favorites, whether it's the plume type celosia or the crested celosia. It can really add um, some different elements to your arrangements and um, can really kind of change up the textures and they come in multiple different colors so um, if you have like a certain theme in mind you can you know kind of plant the colors that you need for that particular theme now um, I did experiment this year with growing bunny tails and they worked very well for me for the dried arrangements really pretty very fluffy and um, anytime you start getting like some different um, types of grass heads to work with, like uh, the pompous grass, that's one that I really enjoy working with. And um, I also work with uh, the eucalyptus. Now that one there, um, it can the the leaves can be brittle, but um, you know you take that into consideration when um, you're working with it. Uh, Gumfrina is another one. They are uh, very bright and colorful and they're really nice for adding different textures to your arrangements. And um, you know the purples are pretty, the reds, the strawberry red Gumfrina, that's really pretty. Um, I also like to work with the Crepe Cedia. And I don't get many blooms from that. That's a challenging plant for me to grow. Um, the only way I can get blooms from it is if I grow it in the greenhouse. And um, even then, sometimes I don't get too many blooms from it, so I'm still working with that particular plant to um, get it to produce better for me. So I'm um, still working with that one. I love the blooms from it. I wish it would bloom more for me, but it seems like you just you need a really good climate set for that particular plant to get it to bloom the way that you want it to. Now, um, another thing that I like for dried flower arrangements, now this technically isn't something that um, you would normally like plant the seeds for and grow, is pine cones. Um, especially like if you're doing um, like your Christmas arrangements and stuff, the pine cones just, they add to the arrangements. And um, I started getting into like the wire stem um, wrapping and stuff for the pine cones. And uh, they're really pretty in arrangements. So um, this one here is another dried flower arrangement that I did. 
and um, these over here, these flowers right here, are winged everlastings. And uh, this was a new flower that was new for me growing this year. And I really like it. It adds kind of like a whimsical feel to the arrangements. So um, I will be keeping that one as well. And then I have my uh, eucalyptus here. And um, I have my celosia and my different plants in here to uh, create this arrangement here. And I did incorporate the pine cones. Now this one here, these pine cones are on a stem. But um, this one here, I hot glued it to uh, complete my arrangement off. So um, I am looking at uh, some different um, flowers that you can dry. Now, um, I do also work with uh, Laritus. And uh, that's another one that I found you can dry it. And it holds its color very nicely, adds a different texture, and um, there's so many different types of flowers out there. I'm experimenting with um, drying roses and uh, peonies to um, just, you know, have some different flowers to be able to work with. Um, I have dried zinnos already. They do dry pretty nicely. Um, once you kind of figure out how to dry them, then it really works well for you. And uh, they add a uh, different texture, you know, to your arrangements. And that's what it's about. It's about mixing different flowers together for um, different textures and just kind of, you know, going with them and having fun with it. And, you know, having fun and enjoying what you're doing is really important because if you don't really enjoy what you're doing, you're probably not going to like to do, you know, what you're doing. So, um... That's a few flowers there that are really good for dried arrangements. And um, I am going to be, you know, I'm looking at different ones to be able to expand out. I've seen they have some new Celosia varieties that I'm eyeing up. And um, I probably will be getting some of them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be getting all of them that I'm looking at, but I'm probably going to be getting some of them. I'm always on the lookout for new straw flowers um, for the different colors. And... Um, and I was looking at some different yarrow varieties for some different colors to uh, be able to use those. Now, um, on your flowers when you dry them, some colors will come out darker or they'll come out lighter than what they already were. So um, there will be a change there that you'll see. They're, they're not going to look exactly like they did when you cut them on some varieties, but um, you can still use them. And I did do a video on my channel for how to dry straw flowers. And I did do a video on my channel for how to dry celosia flowers. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you as I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.